In the good old days of horse transport, one at least didn't have this to contend with. These days, parking restrictions have become almost as big a headache as traffic congestion itself. With fewer and fewer places to leave your car, many a motorist is tempted to give up the ghost. And to cap it all, unless the car looks spanking new, someone might mistake it for scrap with this result. This, as you might have guessed, is a breaker's yard at Waltham Cross, where a giant metal anthill symbolizes the tragic or deserving fate, whichever way you look at it, of old cars. Many thousands of owners of pre-1937 cars have not even tried to get a certificate of roadworthiness. And even many post-war cars are not considered worth the trouble when their owners can get 50 bob for them. Cash, mind you. A year ago, the cars would have been laid out neatly in rows, but now breakers all over the country are being overwhelmed by the old and not so old crocs pouring in and have to stack them in piles four and five high. Many dealers are refusing to take any more, even free. At this rate, it won't be long before we have traffic jams at night caused by desperate men intent on abandoning their cars on someone else's doorstep.